Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to some of you and peace to the rest of you again black heart sign and black end asking you to hit that share button uh, to benefit the masses before you hit the like or the subscribe button which would benefit me that being said um, to get to this message the issue is not only a lack of love or an abundance of it you saw the title so what is the other half it is the responsibilities and how responsibly we love each other. Now, when you were little, you could love your parents, but you didn't always obey them. And when you did not obey them and it turned out to be to someone's detriment, you got caught. You still got your butt whipped because even if you loved them, you didn't obey them. And they tore that butt up because they loved you not because they hated you because in order for you to turn out okay you at some point were going to have to obey your parents if they were any good but by the same token if your parents loved you they were going to have to be responsible and look out for you and look after you now did they have to do it according to white folks material standards no but they had to do it according to their capacity and you had to obey them on the conditions that uh, you had to obey them according to your capacity and of course on the conditions that obeying them did not mean disobeying God or disobeying the law. It is exactly that that is plaguing us right now. Black men and black women may even love each other. I don't think it's enough. We can argue about that, but let's say that we do love each other. The question then is going to become this. Do we love each other responsibly? Black men, do you love black women enough to actually look after them according to your capacity? Well, that depends on which black man you ask because black men are all over the place. It just depends on which one because we actually are individuals even when it comes to women. Black women, do you love black men enough to actually obey the responsible ones? We know the answer is no. You don't. That's where the difference comes in. I can't get on the case of one and not the other unless, of course, one is doing something wrong, the other one's not, or the other one's doing something right, the other one is not. There are black men that are different. There are black men that don't love black women enough to look after them. Of course, they don't have any money to do it anyway, but even according to their capacity, they wouldn't even try. Those black men don't love black women, but there are other black men who do love black women. And some of them can look after black women to a middle standard. Some can look after them to a poor standard because they are poor men. Others can look after black women to a wealthy standard. But the point is that they do love black women. Black men are of all types. Black women are of all types. But what you will find is that the good are much rarer among women than they are among men. Black women who do love black men still don't necessarily love you enough to obey you even when you take care of responsibilities and even when you were doing it up to a middle class or wealthy standard they ain't gonna listen in most cases and i'm not saying you got to walk around being a bossy ass all the time either i'm not telling you that you got to do that brothers chest thumping flipping tables over no no we ain't we don't need uh stereotype nigga displays of, of, of dominance that's not what we're here for but when you were taking care of and you were paying the cost to be the boss, you're going to find that many sisters who actually do love you as much as they possibly could still don't love you enough to obey you when, even when you're being responsible. This broke up my first marriage. So I know it exists. Now how much? I don't know. I don't know what the stats are. Studies don't prove every single phenomena with numbers, but we know these things exist. So I'm telling you. This is why I titled this the way I did. It's not always the love or the lack of love. It is how responsibly we will love each other. And ladies, you got a much higher chance of finding a black man that will love you responsibly according to his capacity than he has of finding a black woman that will love him and listen to him when, even when he's being responsible. Because black men weren't taught don't take care of black women. They were taught don't go broke trying to impress them. And even then, most black men weren't even taught that, really, because you see in the clubs. The, the club, every Friday and Saturday night, is living proof that there ain't enough black men that were taught that much. But for the most part, brothers ain't been taught don't take care of black women because they're black. There was no man taught that. Yes, sisters, you've been taught 
subconsciously and consciously, don't listen to no black man because he's black. BGS uploaded a video in which a sister said, now that I've got a black son, I know that this is actually out there. When I was with my white man, I fucked the shuck up and I listened to him. And I wouldn't have done that for no black man. And now that I got a black son, I know that's how it was. Sisters, you're losing your man because you won't fuck the shuck up and listen even when he's right. Especially when he's right. That's what's going on. I started this recording. When I hit the record button, I was thinking, man, I'm going to go in on brothers and sisters about this one. And then as I was thinking about it while talking, I realized, wait, I can only go in on a, uh, on a minority of brothers that actually are dead set against taking care of women. Like, even just uh, uh, unconditionally. We're all against taking care of irresponsible or uh, disobedient neck rolling attitude and when we're all against that we're, we're against taking care of independent women especially when they brag about their independence we're all against that for good reasons but most of us are not against taking care of a woman that is going to let us do so according to our capacity and is going to listen to us provided we're not telling her to disobey her parents or the law or to disobey god so even then i started thinking i'm gonna have to get her going on both genders and i realized no i still got to go in on the women more than the men not because i hate them but because of what's actually out there it is how responsibly we're willing to love each other. And frankly, sisters, you got a better shot at finding the right thing than we have of finding it in you. And this again is why a lot of brothers got to go cis bim or it more and stop le and, and just leave American sisters alone and go with women of other nationalities like I had to do. Sorry. I hope one day that this information is not true, but until then, I hope that what I've said is a benefit. So I'm like them. So I'm like them, man.